Greetings to all Atomians in Korea. No, in the entire world. Uh, the cold spell has weakened, and you can feel the spring in the air. Great outdoor weather is now coming to us. Everyone, let's cheer ourselves up with the energy of spring. I see a few questions here today, too. It's challenging to duplicate partners. Please, teach us how to do a good job of duplication. First of all, a good duplication requires a good original mold. Duplicating from a bad mold will create a mess for the whole organization. Most of all, I really hope that you will become such a good example for your partners that they will want to mimic you and follow in your footsteps. Those who view themselves as exemplary sponsors must have good molds that are worth duplicating. On the other hand, those who wish that they'd rather not be followed by their partners, they must have something wrong with their molds. What is it that you must do to make a good mold to begin with? Follow the principles within the atomy system. Be integrated with Super Synergy of United Heart. Share honesty and goodness is the best strategy. If you adhere to the guidelines, that are taught throughout our organization and practice what you've learned, then you'll be well on your way to becoming a good mold. For both personal growth and for business expansion, you don't want to skip attending the seminar. That is the most important requirement to be a good original mold. Another effective practice is to show your new partners that you work hard rubbing shoulders together in the field, just like anybody else. Those are the things you actually want your partners to be learning from you. I'd like to give you an explanation on how to distinguish duplicating from copying. Simply put, let's say that you want to copy a tree. It would involve a process of making an exact replica. On the other hand, the duplication of a tree must start with planting a seed in the ground. You must wait for it to sprout and then to grow all the way. After some time, when it becomes a fully grown tree, you can say that the duplication is now complete. If you want a good duplication, you must be practicing the things that you want your partners to be doing as beginners, just the way that you used to do them yourself. Things like working out there in the field, going to the seminar without fail, and are observed steadily and consistently. New partners will then follow your examples, step by step, up from the bottom, on their way to form a solid foundation. Also, if you have a successful senior contractor whom you would like to duplicate, don't be swayed by their current glorious image. You should be smart enough to presume what it would have been like to work in the field when they first set out to become a contractor. I'd really like to see you duplicate the first years that successful sponsors went through and the difficult times that they endured. In return, your partners will want to duplicate your steps exactly as well. In a way, it's a good idea to understand that duplication within the Atomy business is like duplicating living organisms.
They say that the darker the past a successful person was, the brighter their success will shine. If you really want your partners to follow in your footsteps, you must not falter, march on, and stay the course like a rock in the middle of a river. Also, if you're able to tell stories of your feats to your partners, then they will be highly encouraged to duplicate you. Does that make sense? I really hope that it was helpful. Next question. President Park, are you still writing your life scenario? Indeed. Uh, I am still writing my scenario. Mm. I am drawing a new scenario these days. Uh, school. Mm. Last month, uh, we finally purchased a piece of land with an area of 12 acres for the school. We're going to build a middle school and a high school there. I can't emphasize enough how important education is. Unfortunately, I see many people who are not decent despite being highly educated. Again, I can't stress the importance of education enough. Our society and our nation went through periods of peril and experienced tremendous loss due to the highly educated but indecent people who ruled over us. That's why right education is of critical importance. In my humble opinion, teaching kids to be good people is 10 times more important than teaching them knowledge. The other day, I was really ticked off by some news. The, the military uniform, uh, bulletproof vests, to be exact, that Korean soldiers wear are defective. I'm sure some high-ranking officials made that decision. Some general with several stars must have been the final caller. How? How could those bulletproof uniforms with such low quality be picked? They would be worn by young men who could very well be their sons. If I were the general, I would do this. I would hang the vest somewhere and shoot at it with a gun. If the vest was penetrated, I'd choose another. Isn't that what we need? Why on earth do we need so many criteria and techniques involved in choosing a bulletproof vest? If it's penetrated, it's no good. And if it doesn't, then it's good. Why do we need so much knowledge to prove this? If you have a good heart, if you care about human life, and if you love your country, you can by all means make the right decision. I continue to write a life scenario about an education that continually teaches kids to do the right thing with a good heart. Furthermore, I have a long-term plan to build schools in underdeveloped nations for poor kids who can't otherwise get a proper education. It's my earnest wish to build about a hundred schools before I take my last breath. Some places need schools more than anywhere else. I keep writing my life scenario because it's my lifetime mission to give a decent education and God's message to the children who otherwise wouldn't have opportunities for education and a better life. Of course, 
The scenario called Atomy first started from my ideas as I was readying this business. I see my ideas of going global, becoming the distribution hub, distributing everything to the world through Atomy and the GSGS strategy. In other words, the global sourcing, global sales strategy that is selling everything from the world to the world are all coming true one at a time. Everything that we can see and everything that appears in the world came from the unseen. The visible came from the invisible. I urge you to believe in the power of the invisible, the power of your imagination and the power of your mind. Where should a successful you come from? It must be born straight from the thoughts in your head and from your imagination. A successful you living a good life loving, learning, and contributing, you, living a balanced life, must be painted in your head clearly. Another you, living a giving life, being generous, and being respected by others, must be vividly filmed in your imagination. That scenario and that film will change your actions and the path your life is following. In my case, my scenario is continuously being rewritten for a new cinema of life on the screen in my head, thus pointing to a new, adventurous life path. At the same time, I witness my life actually taking the steps of the life scenario that I've been writing. Even as we speak, I'm writing a new life scenario that I'll be building schools for the rest of my life that teach doing the right thing about God and a successful life to children. I want all of you to succeed with your life scenarios. Next question. I'm curious as to what you think about the Pigs Club. Yeah. Well, I must say, there is the Pigs Club. I wish there wasn't. What should I do? Leave it alone. If you get frustrated by those people and you lose your chance uh, to become successful, then you can't blame anyone else. Be your own leader, taking the initiative and creating your own path is of great importance. You can't afford to be discouraged by those people and blaming things on them will get you nowhere. True success, it, it can't be measured just by the amount of income that you earn. Your satisfaction with money uh, will eventually wane due to the law of diminishing utility. True fulfillment comes from respect. You can consider yourself truly successful when you have both money and respect. However, the members of the Pigs Club, they don't get any respect. In addition, their success is rather limited. I, I really wish that they weren't there, but I can't help it. They will be there. What matters is that I don't want to see you use them as an excuse to quit. Don't even worry about them. Every Atomian in the nation that I love and respect, did I answer your questions? 
Now it is March, springtime, like a bud that sprouted through the frozen ground. March on with your business, with vigor and energy. Thank you for watching.